Hey, hello there, my name is Daniel Neal. I'm going to do a quick, uh, hopefully quick walkthrough of a uh, software program called uh, Pullover's Macro Creator. Um, so what Pullover's Macro Creator is, it's a program that lets you record a series of actions on your computer and then rerun those actions anytime that you want. Um, there are other programs that do this as well, but Pullover's is, a, is one that I've used and I like it quite a bit. Um, so anyway, so I'm just going to kind of do a quick demo just to show you how you can use it. Um, it's great for automating really, really tedious tasks um, where there's a defined series of steps that you just do over and over again. So um, I guess without much more ado, let's just jump in and do it. Um, okay, so what we have here is uh, I've got an Excel workbook here and I have a web browser. Um, basically what I want to do here is um, I don't want to go too much into technical detail, but basically, uh, when you go to the doctor's office, you can get labs and stuff. And each each one of the labs that you might get uh, can have a, a certain specific code. The code will uniquely identify that lab as opposed to other labs. So you might get a a blood lab or a a, a fitness lab or something uh, something like that. Each of those has a different code. So what we want to do here is fill up our um, Excel workbook with a list of descriptions of each of these different labs, um, each of these different lab codes in here. And as you can see, we have about 200 of these, so um, yeah. And the way that we're going to do that for the purposes of this demo, um, we might be able to do this otherwise in real life, but what we'll do here is just to pick a random one here, um, you can pick this 15610, copy it, and we'll um, we're going to use this website that lets us look up the name of labs and uh, other information. Um, so I'm going to paste that lab code. Uh, we'll paste the lab code in there and press enter. Um, as you can see, it's a little bit hard to see here. It's kind of scrunched, but you can search over here. Anyways, uh, so this will, after you search for the code that you want here, it'll give you this is the name of the lab and it has a lot of lab extra information that. We're not interested in right now, but you know, you might be in real life. So anyways, all right. So basically what we want to do is fill up this column right here with a description of every single lab in this list. Um, so to do that, we're gonna use Pullover's Macro Creator. Um, yeah, so I guess we'll just jump in. All right, so I've got Pullover's Macro Creator already pulled up right here. And this is kind of like a small tray view of it. There's also like a, a full-featured kind of application that I'll show you in a little bit. Basically what I want to do is I want to take this series of steps right here where I copy the copy the lab code, go over here, paste it, search for it, wait for the page to come back to me, and then copy the lab name, and then switch back over to Excel and paste it. Basically I want to do that, record that, and do that over and over again. And then that'll fill out this description column here. All right, so we'll use Pullover's Macro Creator to do that. And to do it, we'll put our mouse, uh, our cursor on the first item we wanna look up. We'll go over to our Macro Creator toolbar. Let's we'll say we wanna record a new macro. And it's started recording, as you can see. Um, we'll go over to Excel, copy. Go over, back over to our browser. And we'll paste in the text, which is the lab code that we just copied. We'll wait a few seconds for the browser to respond, and sometimes it might take longer than others, so we'll give it a few seconds here. And then we will copy the text that comes up and the result. Go back over to Excel, <coughs> paste the text in, go down to the next row and then we will stop recording. Okay, recording stopped. So if all goes well, we should be able to just pr uh, press play here, and it will record that exact sequence of steps, or sorry, replay that exact sequence of steps, but starting on 8649 uh, instead of 1958. Okay, so it switches over to the browser, has 8649 copied, should paste it in here, and it'll search for it take a minute here. And I'm not doing anything with my hands or with the mouse or anything right now. Um, this is all the macro replaying what I just did. 
and then it copies the text from there. <clears throat> um, switch this back over to Excel, paste in the text, and then it moves on to the next row, and then it stops recording. Okay, cool. So that went well. Uh, that's what we want to do, uh, basically. <clears throat> so now, if we wanted to fill in this workbook, rather than by hand copying and pasting all these in and manually doing all this, all we'd have to do is just press this play button a bunch of times and the description would get filled in one by one down here. So that's great. Uh, that's really good. But it's not, um, I guess, ideal. It's not, for one thing, it's not very fast. And for another thing, uh, because we did a lot of pauses in there. Um, and for another, th another thing, we don't want to have to press play every time uh, this finishes. So we'll address those two th uh, problems right now. So the first one is pressing that we'll work with is having to press play every time. So what we want to do is basically repeat that same series of steps over and over again as many times as we want. Um, so to do that, we will go into Glover's Macro Creator and let's see, so, so here's the toolbar we were working with and the two right here, this is the macro that we were that we just recorded. As you can see, macro 2 is selected here, so that's what we're looking at here is what we just recorded. And every single item here is a different step in that in what I just did. So you can see I moved my mouse to these coordinates, I moved them to here, and then I paused here for 15 milliseconds, and then I paused for 16 milliseconds, and you know, so on. So it's, my mouse is moving around, and I'm kind of pausing, and moving around, that kind of thing. Um, okay, continuing on, had a small problem there. Um, so we're looking at the macro we just recorded, and yeah, so we have all these different steps that we did. We're, this is mostly just moving my mouse around. Um, you can see where we activated this window or that window, that kind of thing, where we pressed down the left control key, then we press C, and then we brought back up the left control key, and so on. So this, this shows you all the different steps that you just performed, pretty much. So what we want to do, since we want to do these steps over and over, we basically want to do what's called a loop. Um, so to do that, it's pretty easy. Uh, we go to commands, uh, we say loop, and then we want to do this over and over. We don't want it to stop. Um, we, want, we want to just kind of manually stop it when we tell it to, or when we want it to. Um, we don't want it to go like five times and stop though. Right, so we'll just say zero is infinite, so we'll repeat an infinite number of times and we'll stop it later when we need to. It's okay. And as you can see it adds these two items, loop start and loop end. So basically any commands that are in between the start and the end of the loop um, will be executed over and over. And in our case they'll be um, executed an infinite number of times, or well, until we tell it to stop, or the computer crashes at least. And, uh, yeah. Okay, so finish that. Right, so as you can see here we got our first instruction is to start the loop. And if we go all the way to the end, um, our last instruction is to end the loop. So basically, all the steps that we just uh, recorded, they'll be just looped over and over again, since they're all wrapped in that loop. Right, so we saved it. So let's now test if that actually works. Um, okay. Right, so we'll just go over to our little toolbar here. We'll press play for the macro we just recorded. And... It'll take a minute, because we left quite a few pauses in there, but... Alright, so it's copying the first lab like we wanted. Um, and remember, I'm not doing anything with my hands here. Um, all automatic. Search for it. <coughs> Copies the text. And then back over to Excel. Paste it in. And goes to the next one. And now, 
since the loop is running, it will re repeat that same series of steps over again. Now there's a small bug in how I did this apparently, and it's starting at the second row rather than uh, what's called the middle row, but you get the idea, I think. Um, so if I'd done that correctly, it would have basically did, done the same thing, but it was started here and pasted and so on. And since it's looping, you'll just do that over and over. And if I wanted to, I could go grab a cup of coffee or I could read a book or whatever and come back 20 or 30 minutes later and all this would be filled in with the lives that line, uh, descriptions I'm looking for. So that's great. Um, now the only other main problem is speed for this because, so say we imagine we had 10,000 labs we were looking at here or something like that. Um, if each one of these labs takes 30 seconds, which it probably does, uh, I didn't really time it, but something like that for what we were doing just now. Uh, let's see, if we did 10,000 labs at 30 seconds each, that would be 300,000 seconds, which would be 5,000 minutes, which would be 83 hours. So that would be what, like a few days going non-stop to actually get that to work. And the thing is, a lot of this is, a lot of these steps, the pauses don't really need to be there. Um, we could speed this up by a huge amount just by um, kind of tweaking it. And the cool thing with the uh, Pullover's Macro Creator is that it's easy to tweak um, a lot of the different steps uh, that are involved. So just to, I guess, show an example of how, how we can do that, I guess, I guess what we want to do is find the places where we're pausing a lot um, and then go back over to the creator right here and then we'll look for um, these pauses right here. We'll basically look for sections where this delay is really really high like right here where we waited two and a half seconds then another two and a half seconds and um, whenever that's not needed we'll just uh, drop the delays. Alright so uh, yeah let's just do that really quick. So we'll start playing the macro, and if you look down at the toolbar down there, it says row um, 105, 107, it's 215 out of 767, etc. That is referring to the uh, to the step in uh, Polar's macro creator that we saw a few minutes ago, like the steps that say delay and mouse click, mouse move, that kind of thing. So why that's important is we can see that we're stuck on 359 right here, step 359, and now it's continuing along because we're doing more stuff. But when you see that's pausing on a single step for a really long time, um, that gives a gives us a hint for where we can uh, remove some of our delays. All right, so we stopped there for quite a while between about 663 and 667. What, and that was when we right after we pasted and we moved down here, I think. So let's just try to decrease that delay here. <coughs> Alright, so as you can see, uh, let's see, here's where we pressed uh, control down, then V, then up, so that's where we pasted in our text over here, around 663. Um, and then let's see, so we did a few pauses, so here we go. So here's where we paused for two and a half seconds. And let's see if there's anything else. Oh, just a second. Okay, continuing on. Alright, um, so around 663, I think it was. Yeah, alright, so we got a two and a half second delay here, and then another one right here. So we're waiting about five seconds there when all we did was just paste some text in and move our cursor around. So we probably don't really need that delay. Um, so yeah, let's just uh, reduce it quite a bit and see here's quite a few times we're waiting half a second and almost a whole second. So first let's get rid of this one. Bring it down to 10 milliseconds. And let's see. Okay, here's right after we lifted up our left control button. And yeah, we, should, we can just get rid of that and we can probably reduce this one quite a bit. 15 milliseconds. 
The same for just about all these, really. Okay, that should be good for now. Now, um, remember this is around 660 or so, roughly in that range, uh, of the row right here that this is referring to. Okay, so we'll try to run our macro again, and we'll keep an eye out. Once we get close to around 660 or so uh, on the row, uh, it should go by quite a bit faster than it did just a minute ago. Um, there's a big delay earlier uh, where we were just thinking, as always, and yeah, so that should be removed. And we'll wait for it to run. Okay, it should be coming up pretty soon here. Pop back over here. This man. And there you go. Yeah, uh, so basically before we were kind of, and it's repeating because we looped it. Yeah, you need to stop it. Yeah, so before we were pasting it, oh, well, here, copy it. And we were paste before, we were pasting it in, waiting like half a, s a couple seconds, then going down and back over here. But after adding in that change, it just pastes it in and goes over there. So that's the idea about how you can, uh, behind how you can speed these up pretty much. Um, and yeah, so once you do that and you cut out all of the kind of extraneous just weights and such, you can probably cut these down by a, quite a bit of time. Once you do that, uh, you can pretty much blaze down this list uh, really, really quickly, searching for items, copying them over, searching, copying, searching, copying, and fill in this list pretty quickly. Um, so yeah, I think that's just about it. That's all I really wanted to cover here. Um, if you found this interesting or helpful, uh, I'd appreciate a comment, um, but you know, you don't have to or anything. But yeah, um, I'd like to know if I'm rambling on too much or... Uh, or not, uh, if you need more detail. Um, I'd especially be interested if uh, non-technical people, um, if it's useful to you. Um, if you're not like a programmer or an IT person, uh, it'd be great to know if this was actually useful for you, because um, that's one of the, the groups of people I'm trying to target. So I'm trying to take it slow, um, but I don't want to go too slow. So anyways, uh, yeah, feel free to let me know if this was useful or not. And yeah, that's all. Um, thank you.